So I'm going to show you all the things that I got for um, under $60 for the school year. School supplies. Fun times. What? Do it again, Waylon. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Got some scissors. So Waylon's super excited about his school supplies. This is the first year he'll have school supplies. Trying to get my thing to focus. Alright, so here are all of the awesome school supplies I got. And I believe my grand total for this was either 48 or 58. Like, I was thinking back on it. And I'm like, did I spend 48 or 58? I don't remember. But I want to show y'all first the name, the off name brand or whatever. The off brand things. And um, so I got these folders. They're plastic folders, and um, they were required to have, like, green and yellow, or blue and yellow and red. I don't, I don't really remember what all the requirements were, but I know that these were the colors that they specifically had to have. So I got those, and I believe those were only a quarter a piece. Um, the composition books, I got this one for Ginger because her favorite color is blue. Ow. And I got this one for Waylon because his favorite color is green. And I also got this black spiral for Waylon because we couldn't find a green spiral. Um, I believe that these were... This was 50 cents, and I think these were um, maybe like 97 cents or something of that nature at Walmart. I also had to get, so I got Ginger some blue ones. She had to have two. Now, I will say this. I got these, and then I realized, whoopsies, because this pack, which I got for myself, um, of four spiral notebooks oh there's a green one in there maybe i'll give that one to waylon and i'll take the black one anyway these four <coughs> spiral notebooks and they have plastic covers and this package for four notebooks was only two dollars and fifty cents and i believe i paid a dollar each for the other ones so in the long run this is cheaper there is a green one in there oh yay okay so i'll probably give that one to waylon um, but yeah, so these ones are for me for my um, courses this year. I am going to be in uh, a computer course and a history course. Um, so anyhow, <laughs> um, here is another off-brand item that I did get, and it is the Great Value brand, which is sold at Walmart. And it is a three-pack uh, box of tissues. I will send one pack with Waylon and two packs with Ginger. Um, the plus side to having multiple children is that you um, get to, like, split up these packs. So, there is that. Now, here is another off-brand item I got. These are dry erase markers. And I plan on keeping a few because their teacher only asked for four per kid. So Ginger's teacher asked for four, Waylon's teacher asked for four, and we have dry erase marker boards here. So I'll probably keep uh, like a couple of them and just send the rest to their teachers. These are awesome because they were like only, I think this whole entire box was only like five to six dollars for 16 now if you get the um regular dry erase markers or whatever with the chisel tip i think they come in a four pack for five dollars for the name brand dry erase so i think this came out to be the better deal and they have really pretty colors too so anywho so that was an off-brand item. Here is um, Crazy Art, which is off-brand but not off-brand. Crazy Art is a brand. It's just a more inexpensive brand. The reason I got this for the Play-Doh for Wayland's class is because they were out of brand Play-Doh brand. You know what I mean? And they were out of Crayola Play-Doh. So... 
Um, yeah, I just got these. Um, oh, that's a jib. What, what's, did they take one out? I don't know. Anyway, so here it is. Play-Doh. His teacher only asked for three. Um, I believe this entire box is about five bucks. So you get ten for five bucks, which is good. I think Play-Doh, they're like a dollar a piece, so I would have probably paid about ten dollars. Here is another item that I plan on splitting up between the two because, again, they were only asked for four. I ended up getting this big pack. I believe it It might have been on sale, but I don't think it was. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to split it in half or maybe keep two at home and send five each with each kid. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Um, I got them both coloring boxes. Ginger's coloring box was $2. It comes with an extra compartment where she can keep her pencil sharpener, her erasers. So it has an extra compartment in it for her to keep her erasers, her pencil sharpeners, or whatever. It's pretty deep. I mean, it's, it's not very deep, but anyways. And then in here, she will keep her pencils, duh, and her crayons and all that jazz. So... Her favorite color is blue, in case you couldn't tell, and so I've been, uh, she always picks out the blue items. I originally got her this box, but then we went back and we saw these boxes, and she was like, oh, I really want that one that has the double compartment, so I got that for her. Um, so Waylon will be getting this one. Oh, it says how much it costs on the bottom. 97 cents for this one, and... A dollar eighty eight for this one. So see, it was just a little bit more for hers because it has that secret compartment. I was seeing if maybe something else had the prices on it, but it doesn't. Okay, so there's that. Let's see what else I got. These scissors. Okay, so you know if you have a kid that's in school, they always ask for these. Fisker scissors. By the way, I did all my shopping mostly at Walmart. I will let you know what I did not get at Walmart, which was just her shoes. And I just wanted to include that because it's not really like school supplies, but it's still school shopping list and I got a good deal on it. So, yeah, no. So, anywho, here are the scissors. Um, Ginger's, of course, the blue. Waylon gets the um, soccer ball. And I believe these were only like a dollar or something each. Like, really inexpensive at Walmart. I'm telling y'all. Okay, so a pencil sharpener. Um, I don't know how much this was, but I think it was only like a dollar or something. But it has the fat pencil and the little pencil hole. So you can paint or sharpen. No, I said paint. So you can sharpen both size pencils, and it has a little compartment on the bottom that you pull out over the trash can. That way, all your pencil shavings can come out. And then you just pop that back on, sharpen it up. You'll fill it back up with your pencil shavings. You go walk over to the trash can, do, 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 and you pop that off over the trash can, and all the shavings will come out, and you put it back on. So the reason I'm saying that is because she's standing right next to me, so I want her to know exactly what she's supposed to do when she's in school. <coughs> oh, I get All right, so I got Waylon these. And if I'm not mistaken, these were a dollar a piece, I believe. They might have been a little bit more. I don't know. But, um, yeah, watercolors because he's little and they need watercolors in his classroom. Okay, so on both of my kids' lists, it required two boxes of 24 crayons, which I got a heck of a deal because, yes, because they were two for a dollar, so I only spent two dollars on four boxes of Crayola crayons, which I find to be a heck of a steal. Okay, so I also got these cute pencils for Ginger. They are colorful pencils, but look at this. Even the wood is a different color. I thought that was really cool. And so I got her these pencils. Her teacher wanted her to have 24 pencil, number two pencils. And these come in a 12 pack. I believe they were like a dollar something each. 
and I just really thought they were cool. I liked them. I like how they have different color wood and the colorful colorfulness. I just like it. So that was just what I got for Ginger. I'll see. Let's see what else did I get. Construction paper. Both of my kids were required to bring a pack of construction paper. So I got two packs of construction paper. Just as I was told. Being so subordinate. Subordinate. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So Waylon was required to get fat um, markers. So this will be for his class room. What else is over here? Nothing. I think that's it. And that was literally everything that they were required to get other than the only thing I have not gotten yet is the hand sanitizer. I got a heck of a deal on Ginger's little shoes here. They were on clearance at Family Dollar. And they're little Family Dollar shoes. And, um, how much were they? Let me look. I have the receipt in here still. Okay, so originally these shoes, let me get both of them out so you can see. Ugh. So I just think they're really cute, stylish. She loved them. She wanted me to get them for her, so I did. And originally they were, let's see. Originally, these shoes were $7, and your girl got them for $2.50. Can you show her me and Waylon? $2.50. And that's Ginger and Waylon. There. That's Ginger and Waylon. Dad, so, yeah, I got these shoes for $2.50. I thought that was an awesome steal. That's why I wanted to include it in this. Um, right now, Family Dollar has a lot of their shoes on clearance. And, um, yeah. I don't know about any back-to-school specials. I have heard that Kohl's is having a good special right now on boys' mm -hmm. summer clothes. Or so many summer clothes are going on sale. And if you live in Texas, girl, mm -hmm. go get you some. Because let me tell you, um, it's summer year-round here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, if you want to see more videos like this or whatever, just more videos of me and my children, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the little bell below and you will get a notification every single time I post a new video. How awesome is that? I hope you enjoyed this cool school supplies haul video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.